hi guys welcome to a new part of photoshop tutorial in this part we are going to learn another tool on the toolbar today we are going to learn the marquee tool actually the use of marquee tool is for made a selection on the image so here it is the marquee tool you can see a small arrow is present at the bottom of the tool which indicates that there are some sub options are available with this tool so in order to view that sub options just right click the tool you can see all the sub options available with the tool here is first one is the rectangular marquee tool elliptical single row and single column marquee tool I choose the first one now I am going to you can see the cursor is now changed in the shape of a plus symbol which indicates that now it is in marquee tool now I am going to made a selection here now it is a rectangular marquee tool I made a selection here okay so now you can see again the cursor is in marquee in the form of plus that means now it is also in marquee tool so you can made any number of selection at anywhere you want okay now I made a selection here now I move the cursor inside the selection area you can see that now the cursor is changed into the move tool that means you can move the selection anywhere on that image okay now here I made a selection now if you want if you want to add another selection into this selection that means I want to add another area into the current selection so just hold the shift key now you can see the cursor an additional small plus symbol is so also associated with that symbol that indicates that now you can add another selection into the current selection so I just left click my mouse and drag now I made another selection and add that selection into the current selection also I made another one now I add it into the previous selection Okay, you can make any number of selection like this okay also at the top you can see here is here are the options available with this uh, marquee tool that uh, here is the normal selection that means you can select anywhere on this image this is the normal selection now here is the add to selection option now I just choose that option now you can see the cursor is automatically converted into an add marquee tool that means without shifting uh, without pressing the shift key you can now easily add any number of selection into the current selection so here already I made a selection now I made another selection now you can see that that selection that second selection is added into the first selection now I made another one you can add any number of selection without holding shift key on your keyboard okay now I convert it into normal now I, I made a selection here if you want to subtract some portion from this selection that means you don't want the entire selection you want to subtract a some portion from this selection then just hold the alt key on your keyboard now you can see that on the cursor there is a minus symbol is present with this plus symbol that means now you can make a selection and that is subtracted from the current selection I made a selection here you can see that now the selection is subtracted from the current selection you can make any selection and subtract it from the current selection okay now here is the option for here on the option menu here is the option for subtract from selection I choose that one now you can see that now the cursor is changed into the minus selection that means subtract selection so here I made a selection now I choose the subtract selection option now you can see that the cursor is changed into uh, now the cursor is associated with a minus symbol that means now you can make any number of selection which is subtracted from the current selection I made a selection here now you can see that selection is subtracted from the current selection so you can make any number of selection for subtracted from the current selection that is the use of this tool available on the option menu okay now again I made a selection here now I want to make only this selection that means if I want to select 
only the intersection between two selection then just hold alt and shift key now you can see that an Hindu symbol is associated with the plus symbol that means it is now in the intersection selection mode I made another selection now you can see that only the intersection between the two selections are left now I made another selection you can see that only the intersection is left I made another one that is the intersection tool you can just make the selection using this option on the option menu the, here is the intersect selection option I use that and here I made a selection now you can see that without holding shift alt key the cursor is automatically converted into an intersection selection now you can make any number of intersection selection on the current selection this this is the use of uh, symbol marquee rectangular tool okay now here there is another option called the uh, elliptical marquee tool I choose that one like the name suggests the selection is in the form of an ellipse you can make any number of selection here you can uh, just move that ellipse anywhere on the image as you want by using the movie tool okay uh, now I made an ellipse selection here and now I hold the shift key and make another one that is now the second selection is added into the previous selection okay now here is that option I just on that add to, add to selection option on the option menu now without holding the shift key you can make any number of selection and add it into the current selection okay now I, I made a selection here I made an elliptical selection here uh, now I want to subtract something from this selection so I just hold the alt shift key sorry I just hold the alt key now the cursor is also associated with a minus symbol now I made an under selection here now you can see that that selection is subtracted from the current selection okay in the option menu you can see here the added to selection and here is the subtract from selection so without holding the alt without holding alt key on your keyboard you can make any number of subtract selection from the current selection okay now I made an elliptical selection here and now I want to make a selection with the intersection of that section selection so I hold the alt and shift key now I made another el elliptical selection here now you can see that only only the intersection between the two selection is available that is the use of uh, intersection selection so here is the an option for uh, intersection selection I choose that and now you can make any, num any number of intersection selection uh, without holding the alt shift key on your keyboard okay now you can easily convert uh, convert from this uh, mark this elliptical and rectangular tool by just holding the shift key just holding the control M on your mouse I made a now I made a elliptical selection now I sh sorry okay now I made a rectangular selection here you can easily change it into elliptical selection by using the shift and M key now I plus the shift now I plus shift plus M now you can see that we can easily move from we can easily move into ellipse and rectangular selection you can see now I hold shift and M you can easily move from ellipse and rectangular selection by using this short key shift plus M okay now here is an option for further selection now I made now I choose the rectangular selection okay make it make it into normal now I hold the control key now I cut that selection 
Now you can see that the cut dot area is sharp. That means the edges are very sharp. Now I want to I am not want such a sharp edge so I am going to change the feather option here. I make it as I just provide a value for the feather option. I provide 60 pixels. Okay now I made a Now I made a rectangular selection here. Now you can see that instead of a full rectangular the edges are just a curved shape. Now I move that selection. So I hold the control. Now you can see that the cut out edges are not much sharp. This one is a fade one. That is the use of feather. Actually the feather indicates that how much is sharp the edges of the um, edges of the selection area. Okay. Now here is the option I make it as zero. Now here is the option for style. Already it is in the normal form. Now I make it as a fixed ratio. Now I choose that ellipse option. Now you can see that you can easily now I make it as fixed ratio. Now you can see that by using the elliptical tool you will get a complete circle. That means now it is in fixed ratio. You can get a complete circle using this option fixed ratio. So if I use the fixed size that means the size cannot be changed. Here is an option for the width. Only the size width that width is available you, can ch you cannot change the selection size. That is the use of this option style option. Guys, this is how we are using a marquee tool in Photoshop. Please subscribe my channel for more video updates. Thank you for watching. See you in the next part of this tutorial.